Joel Hawthorne joins us now for our final trade of the day and stocking up. Good to have you here, Joel. Thanks for having me, Angie. So you are taking a look at Apple. You are ahead of the curve because this is actually an earnings play. We have a fresh Absolutely. round of earnings starting up this week. That is correct. So what do you see happening here with Apple? Well, I, uh, I like the stock a lot, actually. I think that this stock has uh, definitely some potential to rally and go higher. So uh, I'm definitely a buyer. You know the theme of Apple, though. It tends to rally into the earnings event and then sell off. That is true. There's a chance that could happen? That is definitely a chance that can happen. Or not. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> I Well, the thing that really makes this interesting to me is uh, Apple tends to have, uh, right now, we have a bit of a support level right around this 140 mark. And that's where Apple's trading like 140 and change right now. Uh, so if this support level can hold, I think that we can definitely see this stock rally definitely in the in the near term. What would be your option strategy? Uh, I'm a call, I'm buying a call spread here. So I'm buying the 140s and I'm selling the 150s. And again, this is all contingent upon we don't really trade below that 140 mark. If support can hold there, uh, I want to be a buyer because I think that the stock uh, from a technical standpoint can rally and then you put that with the fact that earnings are coming soon, momentum will be on my side. And then how do you profit on this trade? Well, as this stock, I, I believe, is, as we move above the 140 mark, I'm saying that I'm going to take profit as we go to 150s and my risk on the trade actually is the debit that I'm paying for the, one, for the 140s. Well, thank you so much for our final trade of the day, Joel. Well, thanks for having me, Angie.